Well, we've made it. It's the final week of the regular season. I'm Zach Hanley. He's Andrew Banstra. And this is the final drive. And what a game of the week finale we have for you between not only two of the best teams in Division 7, but in the Six Rivers. And Potosi Castle and Blackhawk Warren have history. Last year, the Chieftains beat the Warriors in the regular season, but then the Warriors returned the favor in the playoffs. Tonight, it's a winner take all for the conference crown. A first quarter, Chieftains down 6 0. Dawson Weber going to drop back, fake the handoff, and hit Oliver Post in the flat. He sheds a tackle and dives in to make it 7-6 PC. And those Potosi Castleville boys weren't done. Later, it's uh, Dawson Weber again, but this time to Connor Spitzak, which made it 14-6. How about this? Potosi Castleville wins their fourth straight conference crown. 27-18 is your final. Now, when it comes to the Big 8, it's been Verona and then everybody else. The Wildcats currently on a 20-game conference win streak. And Zach, a win tonight caps off three straight perfect seasons in the Big 8 and three straight conference titles. Janesville Craig standing in the way from their path to perfection. And there's been a common theme for the Wildcats in their journey to a conference three-peat. His name, Trey Poteet. But first, it was his QB, Caleb Hallmark, sticking his nose into the end zone. Hallmark trying to put a storybook finish on a perfect conference slate for the Wildcats. And then later, it was Poteet, the Tennessee commit. He scored four touchdowns in the first half, a kick return, a receiving touchdown, and why not mix in a passing touchdown, too? The Wildcats score, Poteet, he also had a pick six in the first half. He and his Wildcats finish off a three-peat in the Big Eight, 49 to seven. Beaver Dam on Tuesday. And McKenna Nelson was the Division I medalist at the State Girls Golf Tournament. Remember, we had those highlights. And then tonight, the football team beat Port Washington to win an East Central Conference title. 23-0 is your final. Now, Mount Hora Barneveld has been a wagon in the Badger Small. Since 2021, the Vikings are 26-1 and in conference play. And if they beat Portage tonight, MHB will go undefeated in conference play for the third straight year. Warriors looking to do something no other team has been able to do this season. Slow down the Vikings, who outscored their opponents 224-50 to this year. And all that success starts in the kitchen, because Owen Primesberger has been grilling defenders all year. The kid is USDA approved. <laughs> he gets the first down, which sets up this. Primeberger walks into the end zone untouched. MHB takes a 7-0 lead, but he wasn't the only one cooking. Later in the first quarter, Portage on to punt, and look at Zach McGuire. He great gets name. his great name. He gets his mitts on the punt, scoops it up, and brings it back for the score. Mount Horeb wins it, and their conference 53-12 the final. Johnson Creek already clinched a, at least a share of the Trailways Conference title with a win last week. But Andrew, nobody likes to share. The Blue Jays can win it outright with a win tonight over a Rocket team who's looking for revenge. Randolph, remember, finished second in conference last year behind, you guessed it, Johnson Creek. Rocket soared out of the gates in this one. Ben Paul calls his own number and dives in to make it 8 nothing, just like that. But Tanner Herman was like, man, anything you can do, I can do better. He scampers in off the QB keeper and get this would kick the game winning field goal for the Blue Jays. Johnson Creek wins it 43 42 to claim the conference crown outright. It has been a historic season for Highland in their first year playing eight man football. The Cardinals already wrapped up the Ridge and Valley Conference title. Now they're trying to cap off a perfect regular season. You just need to beat Monticello to do that. Now the Cardinals have been rolling this year, outscoring their opponents 309 to 55, and their special teams were, in a word, special today. Fourth play of the game, Highland flies in and blocks the punt, and that sets up their offense. Knocking on the door, and Jackson McGuire runs right through to make it 6-0 Cardinals. Now they'd force the ponies to punt on the next drive, and how about this? John Dreschmeyer has reservations for six. He fields the punt and then check out the flock of Cardinals blocking for him. Dreschmeyer streaks down the sidelines and Island caps off a perfect regular season in the eight man game. 50 nothing is your final. And don't go anywhere. More Badger volleyball is next. They continue their win streak. The message they sent to the Ducks and the rest of the Big Ten. Andrew's taking a break. We'll have more sports after this.